Are you still searching for the perfect pair of jeans? Well, if you are anything like me, I believed wholeheartedly that I would never find the perfect pair of jeans because I've always been curvy. One of the biggest, biggest obstacles that I could not get over was finding a pair of jeans that not only fit my hips, but also didn't gap at the waist because I have what I know now is an hourglass shape meaning that the top portion of my body is about the same width as my hips and my waist is about maybe three to five inches smaller. So knowing that helped me find the perfect pair of jeans. So I've learned some tips that definitely help me understand how to search for pants in general. And I would love to share this with you guys because believe it or not, up until about five years ago, I only owned one pair of jeans. And it's because I gave up. To my plus size diva, this video is for you. I have compilated some of the basic pair of jeans that I feel every woman should have in her staple wardrobe. And some of the tips that I've learned along the way help me figure out there are some things that you need to know beforehand to help you find those perfect pair of jeans. It was like a light bulb for me when I, tr when I really started to understand the anatomy of the way clothing was made. There is an industry standard of the way clothes are designed. So let me help you. Believe it or not, that perfect pair of jeans does exist. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's get into the video. thank you so much for tuning in if you are new here my name is miss dorcia i am in love with all things beauty fashion and everyday life if you are a returning viewer thank you so much i appreciate your continued support i know that navigating beauty and fashion can be difficult for a lot of us and i i love to share and i love to pass on information when i find out um lately i've been leaning more towards fashion because that what seems to be doing pretty well right now um, so when I when, when I learn something new, I have to pass it on because I know that if I felt lost or confused about it, I know that there are others that are feeling the exact same. My channel is definitely dedicated to the woman that is over 40. But I know that there are bits and pieces that anyone can take away from this. So don't pass me by because you feel that, you know, you're not there yet. There are definitely things that anyone can take away from anything that I share. So in saying that, let me preface by saying that this video is... A, I'm not an expert. I'm not a fashion expert. I'm the, the only expert I am is an expert in me. But I know just like me, there are a lot of people that have a have a hard time navigating whether it be beauty or fashion. So when I learn something and that light bulb goes off in my head, I that's when I know that it is time for me to share it. All right, let's get into this. I pay attention to the fashion industry just like everybody else. And I love staying on top of fashion and trends. Even though I don't get on all of the trains, I still love knowing what's new and what's trendy. But ultimately, for me, whatever vibes with me, whatever, whatever um, I feel that will work with um, my style is what I typically gravitate to. I again, I don't jump on every train because I know what works for me. And if some, even though something can be blown up and it's all over the place, it doesn't mean that it's for me. So when I did, when I started doing my research for this and all of the fashion gurus and experts and blogs and how tos, the commonality between them all were these basic things. And I want to make sure that I simplify this as much as possible there was still so much to unpeel with this but I just wanted to break it down um, as simple as possible that will still be easy to follow so here are the three steps that I feel are the beginning to finding the perfect pair of jeans number one know your body shape are you a rectangle a triangle an hourglass an inverted triangle, an oval or quote unquote pair. Knowing your body shape will help you figure out what 
gene will work for you. Number two, shop for your height. Are you petite? Are you average? Are you tall? And also factor into that whether or not you are plus size. Number three, know what rise works for you. There are different types of rises and rises and just, it is basically just where the waist sits on you, whether it is a high waist and an average waist, a mid rise, um, or a low, low cut jean. Understanding um, what rise works for you best will also help you figure out what will work best for you. Okay guys, I want to share with you very quickly that the sun is going in and out. So I'm trying to adjust for the lighting. So if you see the lighting kind of change a little bit, it's because I'm trying to work with the sun. Okay, back to the all video. all come in these beautiful array of sizes. And I definitely want to say that whatever shape you are, whatever size you are, be comfortable with where you are right now. Now, according to what I've learned, an hourglass shape, they say, can quote unquote, wear any style of jean. And what I mean by style is whether they're skinny, straight, um, flare, bell bottom, cargo pant, wide leg pant, um, but that's not true, in my opinion. It, it depends on what size you are. So if you are an average size person, maybe. But it kind of changes when you are a plus size woman. So for me, and I'm speaking personally for me, the, the style that complements my shape the best and what I like to see myself in. And also I want to preface again that it, whatever you want to wear. If it vibes with you, if it feels good, if you feel good, importantly, then by all means, do you. Um, but I'm speaking solely for me right now. And I know for a fact what jeans work for me are skinny, some straight, um, I don't wanna say bell bottoms, but flare. A flare um, style works for me as well. Of course, wide leg jeans and some boyfriend and mom. Um, the mom jeans are okay too, um, but definitely it depends on the Now, in this video, I'm going to specifically talk about my shape, which is an hourglass because I'm an expert on me and I understand my shape. So going back to the simple three basics, I know that number one, I have an hourglass shape. Number two, I'm 5'9", and number three, I know that what rise works for me best is an average rise and a high rise pant. So I want my rise to come above my belly button or meet me right at my belly button, and I also like for mine to be at least maybe two to three inches above my belly button. Now, according to what I've learned and gathered, the hourglass shape is the most coveted shape. Within the range of body shapes, the hourglass has the least percentage. These first pair of jeans are so controversial in my opinion. One season they're on trend, the next season they're not. You know, you have the powers that be are telling you that, you know, get these are no longer in style, they're no longer in fashion, but I believe that the skinny jean is a staple and it is definitely here to stay. Also, the color wash of your jean is important. For plus size, I think that the darker the wash is more flattering for, for, our, for our figures. Um, so a medium wash to a dark wash is, um, should be a staple in your wardrobe. So I believe that we should have at least four pair of skinny jeans, so hear me out. So your first pair should be a universal pair. It should be the pair that doesn't have any holes, um, no fraying, no color, um, no discoloration in the color, because these you want to be able to dress up or down. And I also um, firmly believe that for your skinny jeans, they should hit you right above the ankle. And for me, for a plus size woman, you have to have some give in your pant. I, um, I believe that um, for those that are structured, 
they're they're kind of they're uncomfortable for me for some so I always look for a pair that has some type of stretch in it now I also want to say too that it's it may be hard to find a pair that will fit your waist I, I know how to bring my waist in. If you guys are interested in seeing how I cinch my waist in on all of my pants, let me know down in the comments and I'll definitely do a video for that. Let me show you by just changing your shoe up how this jean will look. You can wear a booty with it. Okay, that booty gives you that casual look. As long as your the hem of your pant um, hit you right at your ankle and make sure that your 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 booties hit you right at the ankle too you don't want any overlapping but a pair of booties look wonderful with these pants a pair of casual shoes looks wonderful with your um, regular skinny jeans and of course you can elevate it a little bit by putting on a heel so that's why I feel that just a regular pair of skinny jeans you can you can go from a casual look to an elevated casual look and you can wear them almost anywhere you know throw a blazer on throw a nice beautiful top on if you can wear if you are if, if where you work allows you to wear jeans you can definitely dress these up you cannot go wrong with a pair of skinny jeans so your next pair should be your fun casual ones these are the ones that have some distressing to them may have some holes in them and what's trendy right now are the frayed hems um, these are one that definitely you can have fun with and sometimes depending on the occasion you can dress them up a little bit by putting on a putting on a heel it totally depends but again these are also a pair that I think that every woman should have in her wardrobe I think that this exaggerated cuff is for me it is so it's, it takes the skinny jean up just a notch I don't know what it is about that extended hem but it is it, it is you can, again you can take it from a casual look to an elevated look as well as long as they're not frayed or anything like that you can definitely get away with um, bumping them up to an elevated look but this um, and again pay attention to where the the hem hits your ankle these are also in my opinion um, a staple you should have in your wardrobe and last but not least in the skinny jean category you have got to have a pair of black ones we all know that black is universal. You can do anything with a black pair of skinny jeans. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. If depending on where you work, you can wear them to work, okay? Um, you can take this look and do so much with it. Of course, we all know black is slimming. And I like mine with a little cuff in there. But you definitely don't have to do one with the cuff. But a black addition to your skinny jean um family is always in my opinion is definitely a pair that you should have in your wardrobe so straight legs this one right here the straight legs can they can be tricky you really have to find the right cut and this is a pair that that I took a long time to find and when I did I I fell in love with them because they hug me in all the right places and because you do have that looseness from the knee down they're not of course considered skinny jeans they are straight leg but they hug just just enough um, to wear they're not a skinny a skinny jean and these are definitely my casual ones because these have the the distressing in them and I like the little play on the the light wash in the front but this is definitely a medium wash jean also a pair that I think an hourglass figure should definitely have in her wardrobe bell-bottom jeans can be tricky as well for a plus-size girl I think if you're average um, 
average you can probably get away with that a true bell bottom jean because you know they hug your curves and then they flare out a little bit below the knee but again this can be tricky for for me for an hourglass but where i found what works for me is a flare jean and a flare jean in a capri cut and what a capri cut is they they can they can come a little bit below the ankle or a little bit above the ankle but when i saw these and and I knew that these would work for me because they're not they're not um, fitted. Um, but they just have just a little bit of play in it. But these are also a pair that complement an hourglass figure. Definitely a staple you should have in your wardrobe. Now, what I do want to add about the Capri cut is you got to be careful with what shoe you wear. Um, in my opinion, these do not look right with a flat or a loafer. It takes away from you and, and it cuts you off. This pant definitely looks so much sleeker and it gives you some length when you put a heel on. Now, the heel doesn't have to be three, five inches, you know, something that gets, that lifts you up off the floor and gives you just that little bit of, um, distinction between your, 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 your ankle and your waist. So again, we want to be proportionate. You got to keep that in mind. The object is, is to make sure that we are proportionate from top to bottom. These are trending right now. Um, your, your quote unquote mom jeans or boyfriend jeans. And basically these are just jeans that are loose. They are loose fitting. They're not form fitting. But for a plus size girl, you got to be careful with these. Um, I didn't want these to be to hit me or to puddle at my ankle. I, I wanted them to hit me just at my ankle so that it gives me that um, that flow, that movement from the bottom. And I love the distressness of it. And also what's trending is that asymmetrical waistline. So I kind of checked off two with this one. I got a trending pair um, and they also are the mom jeans. And I do think that an hourglass figure can pull these jeans off. You just got to be careful with them because you don't want them to look too baggy on you um, because you don't want it to look sloppy. But I definitely think that the right pair of mom jeans will definitely flatter an hourglass figure and one you should have in your wardrobe. The wide leg pant. <sighs> Any shape can wear the wide leg jean. Any shape. But this is definitely the most flattering style for an hourglass figure. And also a pear shape. Um, because you get that, that looseness from the hip on down. It doesn't um, give um, hug you. Well, it should hug you in the right place, but because of that looseness from the hip down, it is so flattering to your shape. And also, again, keep in mind the, the color of the wash is also important. I do believe that a darker wash is so complimentary to a plus size woman. Um, but the, and these pants, of course, are definitely, they definitely look so much better with some type of heel on. Um, it, it does it no justice when you wear a pair of flats with the white leg pants. These are definitely a pair that any woman should have in her wardrobe. The cargo pant. When I tell you these are all over my timeline, <laughs> And they come in so many styles, whether they're fitted, um, white leg, um, a mom fit. Um, it They come in such an array of styles. But I know for me, in my shape, I knew that I wanted a, a, a definitely a wide leg pant. And I when, I when I saw these, I took a chance on them, but I'm so glad that I did. I absolutely love. I love the how comfortable they are. I love how you can definitely dress these up a little bit. You can wear them casual. You can dress them up a little bit. And just like the white leg pant, I think that wearing these with some type of heel will definitely um, uh, make them look a little bit more flattering. I don't think a pair of flats would do these justice. But, and also too, I have to say that these, and even though these are trending, I think the cargo pant is going to be around for a while now. This is one of those trends where you won't regret it, you know, a year later. Um, cargo pants are definitely here and they're going to be around for a while. 
So guys, I want to briefly talk about the, the jeans that are trending right now, meaning what's on trend for the 2023 season. I'm going to look at my notes really quickly. So we have the skinny jean, the straight leg jean, distressed, wide leg, asymmetrical waist, cargo, color block, split hem, the mom jean, the boyfriend jean, and the dad jean. Now, I, again, as I shared with you guys, I don't jump on all of these trends. And for me, it has to vibe with me. It has to, it has to agree with my essence and my style. If I know that this is not my style, I'm not going to give in to it because, you know, again, I don't want to have something that I have that's not going to uh, work with me a year from now or, or be in style or in fashion a year from now. I want something that's going to become a staple in my wardrobe. Do I? I jump on some trends, you know, if it vibes with me. I definitely, I definitely love to experience it. Um, but keep in mind that your style is who you are. Fashion is what comes and goes. You have to dress and be comfortable with who you are. And so that means sometimes not jumping on all of those trends. So in saying that, let me share with you guys. Let, I'm going uh, to give you two examples of, um, like for instance, the, the color block. I, I just don't feel that that's going to be around for a while. I definitely feel that that is going to um, have its moment and is going to be forgotten. So I don't want to have something like that in my wardrobe and it, it just won't work for me or it won't fit into my, um, my style a year from now. So <laughs> I thought about something that I had already in my wardrobe and I have this skirt right here. Now, believe it or not, this was actually a pair of pants. And these were actually my first pair of jean pants. But I did not like the way they fit on me. I thought they were cute, of course, but when I got them home, I was like, I, mm -mm. and they sat on my shelf for a long time. So I, I know how to sew. So I was like, you know what? Let me repurpose these. So I turned them into a skirt. And so now, you know, and when you look at the, when you look at the skirt, it does have that color blocked um, look to them. So I was like, okay, you know what? Maybe I'll rock these for a little bit and I'll fold them and put them back up again. But just because the color blocking is on trend right now, it doesn't mean that I'm going to jump on it. And, and you should feel the same way too. No. Now that split hem, um, I don't like the split hem jean. I just, I don't feel that it's attractive for me. So I am not going to be purchasing a pair of split hem jeans. Those can stay where they are. <laughs> Made it this far, thank you so much. I appreciate your time more than you know. If you've taken anything away from this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and becoming a part of my family. I am growing and I thank you guys so much. Please take a moment, have a look at another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.